Hey YouTube, um, got the second RA10, uh, letting the drive sync, set up RAID, RAID 1 with the two 147GB drives for local storage, um, but here we have uh, RA10, I have updated everything on it, and uh, currently has 112GB of DDR3. And uh, overall, pretty happy with it. So this one has only the two CPUs in it. But for the testing, the few moves we're going to do, I'm going to put in the 10 cores. So this one has the E7530s in it. A 40. So I'm going to replace these two with the E7 2860s. So, a little review of the server, and uh, what I'll do is I'll show you the guys the inside of it. I'm going to power it down and show you how it looks inside. So this is how the R810 looks like. I got the two Broadcom controllers for the mix, but I put in my uh, SFP Plus Intel X520, Intel that's the Intel mic. I got the H700 per controller. And here are the redundant fans. This right here is a flex memory bridge. These two things allow these two CPUs to utilize all 32 slots. Without this, you cannot use the memory slots. You can only use these two right here for these two CPUs. Actually, sorry these two in here too, so these four total. Um, the cool thing about the server see if it lets me do it with one hand, yep, okay, okay. It slides out. So then you can work on all your stuff, you got your controller, your uh, display, you got your USB, you got your SD card slot where you can put in there. I might take it out from the R710s, put it in here. Um, but yeah, as you can notice, these are the half, these are the VLP, very low profile dims, the same memory as this one. I'm just not going to get bothered about it. I'm just going to keep this low profile ones and put the big ones in. Um, Go to the back one. We got in our uh, iDRAC four USB ports, two here and two over here. Quite a few bit NICs, two 1100 watt power supplies. What did you see in there? So, yeah. It's a great server. It's a big improvement. The RE10s do not have any predecessors. So this is a completely custom server with the input from customers toward Dell. That is why they created this. It's a more of like a hypervisor server. You can install Windows Server 2012, R2 with Hyper-V, VMware, which is my, I prefer that better over anything, and OpenStack, um, containers, there's lots of other hypervisors, but for this one, we're going to do ESXi 6.0 update 2. So yeah, um, that'll be it for this video. We're going to do a benchmark test, because so I'm going to replace these CPUs and uh, put in the 10 cores and do some benchmark tests for you guys, since I have the second RA10, the other one is in production. so. Yeah, stay tuned, like, subscribe, share the video. See you guys.